As Aramayawa Nas documentary shook the very foundation of a judiciary, and under then Chief Justice Georgina Theodora Wood, widespread reforms were activated to purge the service. In 2022, the service has been ranked seventh in the top 10 bribe taking institutions index. The one who compiled this has been lenient to them. They should have been second of us. Because I've been a victim of that force. Some of the judges, they are very, very corrupt. No wonder Anas caught them and then they, they are chasing him all over the place. Private legal practitioner Kwame Jantua is surprised the body which is expected to be administrators of justice are constantly being cited for corruption. The most serious one in this top ten, prosecutors, judges and magistrates. Yeah. That is the bastion of if people have uh, grievances, mm. they go to the court for a resolution. Yes, right. And if they are also corrupt, mm. where do we stand? Supreme Court Judge Justice Yoni Kolendi fears the threats of corruption to future generations is frightening. If we fail to prevail in our fight against corruption, it is fast draining the public purse, it's creating barriers to economic development, increasing transactional costs, undermining equity and fairness in our society. The judicial service is not alone. The police and immigration service share top two places in the Shiraz ranking. The police has not publicly reacted to the report, but we remember retired police officer Superintendent Peter Tobu's admonition against the act back in 2019. Every human being is potentially corrupt. The best way is to ensure that we have systems in place that will make it near impossible to commit corruption. And the few that will go through it, they will be dealt with to deter this. We're sick and tired. Why are you always in a hurry to give the police officer money? You are in a hurry to go. Oh, the police officer will arrest you and take you to court. If you are not found guilty, the court will set you free. But for the immigration service, the findings will not deter them from discharging their mandates. It will never be true to say that because of what this report is saying, that we are the second in terms of the ranking. It means uh, we're going to compromise security at the borders. It is not true. Otherwise, uh, uh, miscreants and uh, the terrorists could have infiltrated long ago. But we are there and we are doing our duties. Yes, again, we will not be an institution of saints. But then the majority of immigration officers are professionals. So when it comes to border control or border safety, we are on top of our jobs. And will this will not deter any officer. Security analyst Adib Sani wants a reorientation of security personnel to engender trust among the populace in the face of terror threats. Corruption makes us very vulnerable. It increases our susceptibility to a terrorist attack. So we have to create an environment where officers would, be, would feel good enough to report their own if you know, they engage in the wrong practices. And the police particularly would also have to take this matter seriously and deal rigorously and vigorously with officers who are thought to be engaged in such practices. Instill some sense of professionalism into officers. We just don't take them to sh train them how to shoot. Uh, we need to imbibe you know, that democratic bit of policing uh, to the work they do so they would get to understand uh, the repercussions that might come with accepting bribes. Whichever way you look at it, individuals are active partakers in the bribery and corruption circus. And as long as bureaucracies in public places continue, the tendencies to pay these bribes and secure favors will remain high and even sometimes hit insatiable levels. Mind you, while there is no singular piece of legislation to tackle corruption, the criminal code criminalizes corruption in the form of active and passive bribery, extortion, willful exploitation of public office, use of public office for private gain, and bribery of foreign public officials. Komla Adum, TV3 News, Accra.